hi guys welcome to another video session in this session I'm going to show you how we can do be behavioral driven development with selenite uh, how we can integrate cucumber with selenite so let's see how we can do this it's not just like doing integration with this BTD and cucumber it's not only for selenium you can uh, integrate with other fantastic so that's what I'm going to show you today so let's see how we can integrate BDD with selenite So you can go through my tutorial about how the integration of selenite with BDD. This is the tu tutorial article, which is in LinkedIn. So it gives you step by step in, uh, step by step information on how to do this. So let's see how we can do this at the coding level. So we'll go to my Eclipse so I have to have you have to have uh, Maven integration installed then what you had guys had to do is you had to go to pom.xml then have the necessary dependencies which I had laid down so I laid all this down in the YouTube as a comment also so you had to first put the dependency on CodeBurn that is the selenite dependency then the cucumber java dependency you have to add the cucumber io dependency j unit dependency and also you have to add the j unit dependency so this is what dependency you should do then you have to do a maven clean and install then it will actually install all these dependency files in your machine next what you have to do is you have to create a feature file in the feature package so this is my feature it's a google search for selenite and verify that i mean okay, i'll get the selenite uh, result so this is my given when then scenario uh, given user goes to google user search when user search selenite then the user should uh, get the selenite set. so what i'm going to do is i have created j unit runner so i'm going to do in j unit so cucumber options i have given the plugin as pretty glue as a step def that is my package then the location of my feature files so once i run this j unit runner since I don't have in J step JS, it will generate your step definitions. So what we have to do next is we have to get these step definitions copied. So first I will create a class in my step definition package called class step defs dot java. Or I'll just give the name step defs. So get okay, step defs is there. So what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna first copy the step definitions. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paste them. So it will first indicate in red. What I what we had we have to do is we have to bring the import statements. So let's bring them. So these are the import statements that you guys have to do okay test ng given when then in uh, cucumber then assets open qa then selenite also code burn selenite uh, libraries you have to import them then you are done with those remove this throw pending because we are going to code them uh, for now we'll start coding here so i want to give you the give the location of my Chrome drive because I want to navigate to Google first so let's add the Chrome drive so this is the location of my Chrome drive so I had to bring the Chrome drive I had to bring the Chrome drive up next is I have to navigate to Google so web driver runner set web driver driver so let's open this site and see whether it's working so we had to Comment this because it won't run my step tips because they are errors. So let's run this and see whether it will bring the comb driver. Alright, there we go. It goes to Google. Now, what we have to do is we have to search the selenite word. So let's search the selenite word. So I have the code here. So, I am not going to search Sri Lanka, I am going to search Selenite. 
so let's paste the code here so let's say the night so it will uh, send keys it will type the word selenite in the search search uh, input and it will click on the search button so it will check this one also now this is how we develop step step definitions step by step giant runner chain it go to google type selenite go to selenite now i want to click selenite coincides java copy so what i'm going to do is i am going to take this link also so i'll just minimize this next one is i have to click on this link and navigate to that link so what i'll take is i'll take the parts which i done earlier and I'll paste it here then the user should go to selenite site the result should display so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here I have opened up selenite coincise jar so this is the site that I have to go so I will copy the link text of this and paste it here there you go then I have to get the link of the site. So the site link is same. Selenite coins as UI test. So I'll just paste this here. And titles are matching. That is what I want. So we get the title and titles are matching. So let's see whether this is working. We'll run the giant runner again. Save. So it goes to Chrome, open up Chrome, type Selenite, click on Selenite and it goes to Selenite site. There we go. So let's see whether what's happening to our test cases. Three scenarios all are passing here. You can see the feature file, everything is passing. Search Selenite word in Google. Three, one scenario is passing, we had three steps, they are also passing and if you go to selenite so okay i have to give asset so asset is also passing there is no failure so text titles are matching so this is how we do a basic vdd selenite integration with cucumber hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please put a like in the linkedin post thanks guys